What's up guys, it's Monday morning. It's about 7.30 a.m. guys, I don't know if you can tell, maybe you can't, but it's starting to be a little bit darker in the morning, so it's a little bit tougher to wake up, but never mind, I'm on my way. Just my BCAs in my water. We're gonna hit a pool workout to get the week started off right. Show you some clips from the workout, and I hope you enjoy the video. This is the weather right now in London, guys. Really foggy in the mornings and in the evenings as well, so it's kind of difficult to see but it's actually cleared up a little bit right now. You can see in the park, it's quite poor visibility. So as you know guys, we've been starting off the back workouts with the pull-ups. I do use the Versa grips for some help on the grip, but guys, I've really been finding my pull-up strength increasing, being able to do many more, and again, going for four or five sets here on every workout before I start. Then the second exercise was the bent over dumbbell one arm rows. Guys, this is a really good exercise. Make sure you focus, squeeze in the lats really nicely. Guys, I find that my right side, I get a bit of a better contraction than on my left side. So I've been really focusing hard, thinking about the way that I do it and making sure I get an equal contraction on both sides. Guys, we did about three sets here, about 12 reps on each arm, as you can see, um, and leaning over, keeping my feet in an equal stance, not a staggered stance. The next exercise that we did after that was the seated row with the cable. Guys, here we did the close grip. We went for three sets and we went in the 8 to 12 rep range. As you can see, I'm leaning a little bit forwards, very, very slightly, and not leaning myself backwards on the way back. That keeps the contention nicely in the back muscles. After that, guys, we went with the hammer strength high row machine. As, and as you can see on this machine, there's two ways you can hold it. In this way, with a more neutral grip, and then also a hands facing grip. So we started out doing, I think, 10 to 12 reps on the um, neutral grip, and then we switched it up. We did a, a superset with the hands facing forward grip, so kind of like the lat pull down. We did that, and then we did about eight reps afterwards on the second grip facing hands towards the body. After that, we moved on to the biceps. I think we did two or three exercises for the biceps. We started with the seated alternating arm dumbbell curls. Guys, putting the bench on an angle and sitting on the bench prevents you from swinging and gives you the ability to put more emphasis on the biceps and so you're not able to cheat the rep by rocking back and forth and using your lower back. Taking special emphasis here to really twist on the way out, twist the hand outwards and you'll get a full contraction of all the muscles in the bicep. That's the workout video guys, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the rest of the clips, we've got some good stuff coming up. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. What's up guys, so hope you enjoyed the workout clips before. As you can see here, we're doing a bit of packing. We're heading to New York actually, so you see we've got the shoes all lined out. We're just trying to figure out what exactly we're gonna take. We're gonna be there for a free, we're gonna be there for a few days, so we're gonna give you some tips on how to travel, how to stay on track with your macros, and how to train. So my flight's tomorrow at, I think, 3.30 in the afternoon, so we're gonna head to the gym in the morning. Might show you some clips from that. Then we'll show you some of the snacks we take, and guys, you know how we do. Show you the foods that we eat on the road, show you some of the things that you can do, some tips, hopefully, that you can take, and also some good restaurants in New York where you can eat out and hopefully stay on track with your macros. Guys, it is a holiday, so it is okay to be, you know, a little bit more relaxed on things, especially if you're like me. I'm in a lean bulk phase, so I don't have to be as strict as perhaps if I was trying to get super lean or shredded. So guys, take that into account when you're going on holiday. Hope you enjoy some of these clips, and we'll see you as the journey progresses. So guys, we're all packed up, we're ready to leave. You can see suitcases just about to close up and we're gonna head out to the airport and then we'll show you what food we buy at the airport for lunch and to make sure we stay on track with our gains. What's up guys, so we're at the airport, we're just waiting for the flight. I went to pret manger which is just behind me. Got some snacks for the flight, which I'll show you. These are some good ideas, you can hit your macros with these and also stay healthy. So guys, basically what I got is one salmon sandwich here and I got three tubs of mango, which is some good carbs there. I got one birch and muesli, one banana. I bought all this from Pret and I got a bottle of water as well. Guys, obviously it's good to get fruits and vegetables in when you travel. And then I got uh, one bottle of water as well. So staying hydrated throughout this trip. We got some Quest bars as well. These are always good things to travel with. What's up guys? So we're in New York. We made it to the apartment. We're just waiting for Christos. He's out at class. We just got here, so we're looking forward to it. Gonna unpack. A little bit tired, as you can probably tell. Haven't had dinner yet, so we're gonna go and have something for dinner. Not sure if I'm gonna eat by myself or wait for Christos so we can see how bad the hunger actually is. Good to be here, guys. We'll show you what we do, we'll show you what we eat. 
we're gonna train, we're gonna do all the things that we normally do. At, in fact, I trained this morning in London, so tomorrow I've got a rest day, which I'm looking forward to, and then we'll be back in the gym on Friday. Might be training with Christos and a few other people, so we'll show you everything, guys. Hope everything is going well, and hope you're enjoying the video so far. What up, guys? Krizzy in the house. What's what up? up? How do you feel having Mr. Gaines in the building? Yeah, man, it's good, it's good. Good to have you back. We just went for dinner, we were too tired to take the camera, we went to Hillstone. Might be some pics on Instagram, or follow me on Snapchat if you want to see what we had. Had some froyo after as well, because you know I'm about that life. Krizzy, what did you have for dinner? Dude, what did we have? We had the French dip. French dip. Which is pretty cool. French dip and artichoke dip. Artichoke. Alright guys, we're going to chill, watch some basketball, Netflix and chill, and check you guys out in a bit. Morning guys, so with Mr. Gaines, as you can see, I just got up, got ready. Now we're gonna head over to Trader Joe's, pick up some breakfast things, pick up some foods and stuff that we're gonna eat over the few days that I'm here. Got some good things planned, got some good lunches, also some other things that we're looking at. So we'll show you what we do, we'll show you what we get at the grocery store, and I hope you enjoy the videos. Going with the fruit, guys. We're looking, what cereal are we gonna get? Because you know I've got mad carbs to hit, so cereal's always a good way to do it. Alright, we're back in the apartment now. We didn't get too much, just mainly breakfast things, so we're probably going to be eating out for lunch and dinner. So I'll show you what we got. I got some Raisin Bran, which is basically similar to the Sultana Bran I have in London. That's a good breakfast cereal with fibre. Got the Frosted Maple Brown Sugar Shredded Wheats. You've seen I like these. We got some fruits, some blueberries, and then some already pre-sliced watermelon. I guess pre-sliced isn't always the best option, but I couldn't be bothered to cut it myself today. Um, almond milk, almond beverage as they call it here. We got ordinary skim milk as well, fat-free milk. We got one peanut butter in case we are running low on fats, and then we also got as a treat some Stutters Formula cookies. You know I like these guys, so gonna enjoy this, have some breakfast, and then we'll show you what we do the rest of the day.